the Springfield Armory Model 2020 Rimfire. Let's check it out. Springfield Armory has just introduced their model 2020 Rimfire. It's in 22 long rifle, it's a bolt action rifle. This is the classic model with the uh, walnut wood stock and the matte blued finish, tapered barrel, free float. I mean, this is loaded with a lot of cool features, but it also takes the 1022 pattern magazines. This is a real departure for Springfield Armory, the first 22 long rifle that I'm aware of that they've introduced. They've also introduced their tactical model. Uh, this comes with a beautiful composite stock, bull barrel, threaded barrel. Uh, um, this is loaded with a lot of features as well, and there are some differences. So we're going to do a full review on the classic, and then we're going to do a full review on the tactical, which is patterned after the Waypoint bolt action rifle. And again, we want to thank GetZone.com for putting us together with Springfield Armory. Guys, if you're into the outdoors, if you're into firearms, if you're into the Second Amendment, check out GetZone.com. All right guys, Springfield Armory, model 2020 Rimfire. Uh, this was a surprise, and I really like that they introduced both of these versions. This is just your classic version, something you take out to the range, go hunting with, just a good solid 22 rifle. Uh, and then we have the tactical model, which you know lends itself to more specific tasks. Uh, definitely a great target rifle, but also for competitive shooting or for putting with your Waypoint, which is Springfield Armory's new bolt action centerfire rifle, and it has the same kind of stock configuration. So while both of these have a lot of similarities, uh, there are a number of differences. And to be honest, the guys that are gonna go out and buy the Classic, they're not necessarily gonna be looking for a tactical model. So this makes it a great companion to be able to sit behind the bench and shoot for a lot cheaper. Uh, one of the things about 22 guys is it's just fairly cheap to shoot. Uh, low recoil, low report. You can really enjoy just getting all the fundamentals. And that's one of the things I love about 22 and taking first time shooters out. Uh, this is a great option. So we have the beautiful Turkish Walnut stock on the classic. We have a composite stock that is on the waypoint pattern uh, on the tactical model. We have a bull barrel on the tactical. We have a field tapered barrel. Uh, the bolt knobs are different, have a little more of a heavy duty bolt knob on the tactical model and the tactical model is threaded. But again, we're gonna get into a lot of the details once we do the full review. Now the model 2020 Rimfire has a guaranteed one inch group at 50 yards, and that's with quality ammunition and skill with the shooter. First thing let's do is go ahead and drop our magazine. There's a little button behind the mag and you just pull it right out. This is a 1022 pattern magazine. It is cross compatible with your Ruger mag. So you can use these in Rugers and the Ruger mags in here, 10 round, rotary box magazine. Then we're gonna check the chamber and the gun is empty. The classic model, again, it's just that traditional look uh, with the walnut stock and just this stock is absolutely beautiful, the Turkish walnut, the grain that comes through. This is the double A grade. Uh, they make a triple A grade. I can't imagine that it looks any better. Uh, and then a grade A and then they have just the select satin. So you have different grades and of course price is gonna dictate uh, what grade you get. Has a satin blue finish on all the metal parts. 20 inch barrel, which is a field taper styled barrel. The barrel is free floating. And uh, you know, that just really helps with the accuracy. Uh, any contact you have with your stock, 
Uh, it does affect ac accuracy, the barrel harmonics in the stock. And the barrel's crowned, and this is gonna preserve your rifling at the end of your barrel, which again, also leads to good accuracy. It has a Remington 700 pattern trigger. Four and a half pound trigger pull set at the factory. But we'll take a closer look when we break it down. Now the bolt has a 60 degree throw, and that is really optimal to be able to get it right here, just pull it up, and it just brings it easy to do. Uh, the bolt handle itself uh, has a thread where you have your knob, and it just has the round knob that's very comfortable to bring back. But guys, this is a really slick action. Now the bolt has dual locking cams. Uh, the handle itself actually locks it into place, but you'll notice this circle at the top, and this is also a locking mechanism, and as you bring it up, it just releases. And so this is gonna give you double contact points to lock in your bolt. Now to remove your bolt, there's a little lever here just to press it, and then the bolt just comes right out. This is a hard chrome bolt finish, which makes it super slick. I mean, it's like a mirror, it's just like glass. And so, and you can see how well machined this bolt is. I mean, it's absolutely beautiful. Uh, here is that second cam that locks and you can see the little notch. And again, this is gonna give you more stability with your bolt. It's gonna give it a little more longevity, but definitely for a very simple bolt, it's really nice and very well done. And the bolt is made from 4140 steel. And again, it has that really nice hard chrome finish on it. Uh, when you're reinserting your bolt though, you don't have to mess with that lever. It just goes straight in. One thing you'll notice too is there's a two point part action. It's here and then you push it on up to release it. Here's your safety and it's in that just that right place for you to be able to just take your thumb, push it up and of course red for fire. Rubberized butt pad with spacer and of course that walnut is just beautiful. Has a pistol grip, really nice checkering all the way through, and you get a plastic butt cap at the end. And the checkering around the handguard, very well done. And we have a length of pull of 13.45 inches. Now we have one of the Leupold VX Freedom Rimfire Scopes. Uh, this is a 3x9x40, highly textured knob set for adjusting your variables uh, for magnification. It has a very nice matte finish to it and has very nice uh, controls for windage and elevation. Now, clearly marked and easy to see. Has a 60 yard fixed focus. It has the advanced reticle system which actually has bullet drop compensation. The glass in Leupold scopes are excellent and Leupold's been making extremely quality glass for a long time. Okay, this is set up for rimfire. It does come in a standard cylinder fire caliber version. But it's fog proof, waterproof. This is just a great scope. And this scope was actually mounted when I got the rifle. So it was a nice bonus. Then it has the two piece ring set up. Of course, this is drilled and tapped. And you do get the amount with the rifle when it comes. And right on the right side of your chamber, you have 2020 rimfire. Now here it says classic 22 long rifle. And it says Rite made in Turkey. So these are being imported just like their XDM, XD, their new echelon. Uh, from Croatia, and so they're importing these. Uh, one thing about Rite is they make really high-end shotguns. Uh, so this isn't just your basic Turkish company, even though a lot of the Turkish firearms are really excellent. But this is one of the cream of the crops coming out of Turkey. Now it has that curve like it does on the Remington, and we're gonna check the trigger pull action. Man, that is a nice trigger. Uh, there's no take up. It's just really, crisp, clean break. We're gonna try that one more time. Oh yeah, that is an extremely nice trigger. Let's check the trigger pull weight with our Lyman trigger gauge and brown ales. Four pounds, 5.9 ounces. Four pounds, 6.6 .6 ounces. Man, that is close to four and a half pounds. Also, you don't want to dry fire these a lot. Uh, with rimfire, that can cause the firing pin to deform. And that is also recommended in the Springfield Armory handbook. I want to give a big thank you to Fiocchi for sponsoring the ammo, all made in the USA. Some of the rimfire is some of the best out there. Uh, this is just your standard uh, 40 grain lead round nose, but they do make some really exceptional jacketed hollow points. 
Uh, one thing I love about this rifle is that it utilizes your 1022 magazines, which are abundant. And so it does come with two really cool mags, but if you want to up your game, there's some options that go beyond that. And uh, these things are actually pretty slick. Some of the Ruger mags, are, or 1022 mags, are not quite as easy to load. Guys, I think this is probably the biggest surprise that I've had this year with the Springfield Armory uh, 2020 Rimfire. Uh, you know, it's a bolt action 22 rifle, but man, it is absolutely beautiful. Uh, of course, the Turkish wood stock, and this is the deluxe. It's not the highest tier, but uh, it's absolutely beautiful. Uh, and of course, just the smooth action. It's just really easy to bring in open up uh, you know it's got that thinner barrel the target model has that thicker barrel it's a little bit heavier this one's very handy like easy to use like for hunting it's very smooth uh, you know, and it's that short stroke, has a nice knob on it, uh, the, the bolt handle's nice. Uh, the checkering is very functional, whether it's on the pistol grip or right here at the front. Lightweight handy, very accurate. Uh, this Leupold scope we have on here, man, just really has great glass to it. Uh, the butt pad gives you just some stability on your shoulder. This is a great hunting companion, but also just taking out to the range. I mean, this is kind of heirloom quality stuff. Very nice trigger. Uh, you know, overall, I've been very impressed with this rifle, but the main thing is, it's just absolutely beautiful. Now for cleaning, we're gonna disassemble the action from the stock. First thing we're going to do is remove our magazine. We're going to check, make sure the gun is unloaded. You have two screws here and here. So we're just going to take these out. Once you get the screws out, you just pull out your trigger group. And the stock will come right off. Trigger group is alloy aluminum. It's nice to see that it's not plastic. Uh, and then of course here we have our ejector. But it's pretty simple. Pull up your bolt, hit that lever in the back, and we can pull that right out. And here we have our trigger group, and you can see, I mean, it is just the Remington 700 pattern trigger group. And we have two adjustment screws at the front. Again, this was factory set to four and a half pounds. Of course, you can see how the safety works. Very simple. Here we have where the chamber comes. It's kind of protruded out. That's a little bit different than what I've seen in the past. Here is a look at it from underneath. It kind of comes out. Uh, so the round will be more positive from the magazine. And that's pretty simple. Uh, to reassemble, we're going to put our action back into the stock. It just fits down in it, nestles in. And then we're going to take our trigger group or our trigger housing, place that in there. Well guys, the longer screw goes in the back and the shorter screw goes in the front. And this is a 532nd wrench. Once you're getting these tightened down, and you do it actually in sections, you don't want to tighten one all the way down. It makes it difficult to get this one in if this is tight at first. And place your bolt back in, it goes right in, lock it down, and you're good to go. Now, I couldn't weigh the rifle because of the optic, but according to Springfield Armory, it's six pounds, three ounces. Now, the retail price on the Classic is $529. And that is according to the type of wood you get. It goes up in price the higher the grade. And then with the tactical model, it starts out at $434, and that's with the black composite stock version. And of course, market price is going to be less. But guys, just loving to see Springfield Army coming out with these bolt action rifles. I mean, the quality is really exceptional. A lot of really cool features. Uh, 422. 
And you know, whether you're going out into the field or you're sitting behind a bench or you're taking a tactical class or you're shooting competitively, uh, these are two really separate rifles and yet with a lot of similarities that make them very accurate, very reliable, very smooth feeding. Of course, using the Ruger 1022 mags, that's just a big bonus. Guys, a beautiful 22 rimfire bolt action rifle, a lot of features. Uh, this Turkish walnut stock is absolutely beautiful. Uh, and of course, with the Leupold scope on here, we couldn't help but get it in a real tight dot on paper. Uh, just so many different features with this gun, and of course it does take again the Ruger 1022 magazines, which makes it really simple. And we will be doing a full review on the tactical model that will be released at the same time. So a couple of great options for 22 long rifle, whether you want to go with that tactical target model or the classic version, which is just great for the field. And again, we want to thank GetZone.com for putting us together with Springfield Armory. Guys, if you're into the outdoors, if you're into firearms, if you're into the Second Amendment, check out GetZone.com. Be strong, be of good courage. God bless America. Long live the Republic. Springfield Armory has just introduced their 2020. Springfield Armory has 22 rifles, especially for competitive okay. video friendly platforms. In the, okay. uh, it has a rubberized coating around the knob setup. No, it isn't rubberized. And when I first got this in, I was thinking, what the crap? I mean,